Hey Bonavista Baptist kids, today's Bible story is found in John chapter 10 verses 1 to 10 and he says something that's a little confusing. He says, I am the door. So let's find out what that means together. The rolling hills were dotted with livestock and the sound of sheep could be heard in the distance. It was a peaceful contrast to the anger and arguments that had surrounded Jesus in recent days. He'd made a blind man see, and while there were some among the crowd who responded in faith, there were also religious leaders who were too upset by his message to even care about the healed man. But Jesus cared. He cared about the man who had been blind, and he cared about the world he came to save. He lovingly looked over the crowd and as a shepherd calls to his sheep, he said, Please hear me and understand this. I am the door of the sheep. Most people in the crowd listening to Jesus understood that sheep are helpless creatures. Without the wisdom and guidance of a loving shepherd, they would easily lose their way and wander into danger. Jesus knew the people listening to him were like sheep without a shepherd, harassed, and helpless. They, like lost sheep, did not understand how close they stood to danger and how easily they could be lost forever. But for the sheep, there is a safe place. There is protection in the sheepfold. It is where the shepherd brings his lambs in, away from the hidden dangers of the night. The gate of the sheepfold held these precious lambs secure, and the shepherd guarded them with his very life. That is why Jesus said, I am the door of the sheep. If anyone enters through me, he will be safe and completely restored. In Jesus, there is safety for all God's children. The sheep must always be careful because there are false shepherds who scheme of ways to sneak into the sheepfold. But the secured gate is the only right way in and out of the sheepfold. It is where the true shepherd calls his sheep out for the day and where he guides them back in for the night. Only a thief and robber would try to drag an unsuspecting sheep out any other way. But the sheep never need fear the good shepherd. He knows each one of his sheep and calls them by name. They know his voice and trust his leading, and they refuse to follow anyone else. He leads them to green pastures and beside still waters. He restores them when they stumble and fall, and he comforts them when they are afraid. The Good Shepherd loves his sheep. The words that Jesus spoke were life to those willing to hear him. But he had a stern warning for the religious leaders in his audience. He called them thieves and robbers. They did not truly care for God's children. They did not feed the hungry, care for the sick, or give direction to the lost. These religious leaders were selfish and did not love the people with the heart of a true shepherd. They were cruel and unkind. Like a thief, they did not enter through the true gate of Jesus, but made their own entry in their own way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. His message could not be silenced by the thieves and robbers who hated him, and his life could not be taken by those unfamiliar with his voice. He gave his life willingly to save the sheep he loved, and he rose again, victorious, to offer everlasting life. All those who enter at the gate, the true gate that leads to life, Jesus Christ, will live forever under the care of the Great Shepherd.